What's up internet? This is Rafael from Hardware Sugar and these are the top 7 things you didn't know about the S21 Ultra. So when the S21 Ultra came out, I was really excited. However, I was also very concerned that it may not be worth the upgrade from my Note 9. So I went to my usual reviewers, MKBHD, Michael Fisher, The Verge, CNET, and so many others actually. I have easily watched maybe 20 unboxing and first impression videos, followed by maybe 15 actual full reviews of the S21 Ultra. And because I watched so many unboxing videos, I thought I would know the basics and what to expect when I actually got the phone. However, I was genuinely surprised that there were certain things that I just didn't know about until finally I started using the phone. In fact, one of those things which I'm going to talk about was something that surprised me immediately out of the box. This is not to say, of course, that uh, the other reviewers got it wrong in any way possible. To be honest, I think that these things might be so minuscule that they didn't even take, they didn't bother placing it into their reviews. Nevertheless, you're paying $1,200 or here locally in the Philippines, it's 70,000 pesos for the entry version and you should really know 100% what you are getting yourself into. I know a charger doesn't come in the box. What I wasn't quite prepared for was this. I know what a USB-C is, but to me, this is a USB-C from hell. I don't have a charger compatible with this. I am upgrading from a Galaxy Note 9, which was released in August 2018, so I'm not exactly coming from the Stone Age. Ordinarily, people wait two or three years before upgrading, so I would like to think that I represent the majority of those who pre-order. The charger that came with my Note 9 two years is USB-C, but the end which connects the adapter is the classic USB connector. I gathered all the chargers I've acquired over the past three years as well as my most recent power bank, and well, you get my point. I can of course just disregard the cable altogether and use what I already have, but it makes me wonder why Samsung even bothered. Like, does the 25 watt charger which is sold separately not have a cable? Because it seems like it does. So if you do opt to get the faster charger in the end, you will still have a spare cable which can't be used by itself unless you buy a component to match it. Which goes against their purpose in not giving a charger to begin with, which is to reduce waste. I finally discovered that my PC had a USB-C port, so if you have a relatively recent motherboard, you could use the cable there instead in case you want to move files over to your PC. This isn't a deal breaker of course, but it's something to keep in mind if you are a loyal Samsung cell phone user from a couple of years ago and realize that almost all the adapters are no longer compatible with the cable which comes in the box. You know that film that you peel off which is really satisfying? There's actually a second screen protector right underneath it. At first, I was like, okay, cool, extra protection. In fact, you can clearly see it when you look at the camera punch out because the protective covering folds on the sides if you touch it. You can quite literally feel the edges of the screen protector when you swipe down from the very top. In short, there is a noticeable abrasive feel when you touch the immediate sides of the screen, which removes you from the premium experience. It's quite irritating to be frank, and if you are coming from a Note 9 which has a smooth curved screen all throughout, that rough texture on the S21 Ultra caused by a screen protector that I didn't attach cheapens the experience. Thankfully, if you wear a case, you won't notice it so much because cases usually have a lip which prevent you from touching the immediate sides of the screen. Hey, if you like what you're watching so far, please consider liking and subscribing to Hardware Sugar where we generate regular tech content. Speaking about charging, because the S21 Ultra has a 5,000 mAh battery, it is a hungry beast. It has a big stomach to fill, but because it doesn't come with the intended 25 watt charger, I'm using my 15 watt Samsung chargers, one of which came with my phone and the other I picked up at the Samsung store two years back, so I could charge in different places. With Wi-Fi on while charging, I got from 0 to 30% in 30 minutes. My Note 9 can get to 50% within the same period. Back to the S21 Ultra, I finally got to 50% after an entire hour. In short, you can expect going from 0 to 100% in 
two hours, which for most might be a lifetime. If you are using a 15 watt Samsung charger, which again, most people will be using because people usually upgrade from two or three year old phones. Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. You would think that because the S21 Ultra has a 5000 mAh battery, that it would blow away the battery life of my Note 9's 4000 mAh battery. This, however, does not seem to be the case. The S21 Ultra has the option for a higher resolution and a maximum refresh rate of 120 FPS, but the Note 9 and all iPhones only work on 60 FPS. The problem is that if you are using the S21 Ultra with maxed out resolution and even with adaptive refresh rate, it left my unit dead only after 6 hours with medium usage. I tried again and only ended up with 8 hours after light to medium usage. I am at home using Wi-Fi and haven't used my data yet, thus this should have actually extended my battery. In short, my 2-year-old Note 9 lasts a little longer than my brand new S21 Ultra. This is a far cry from what most YouTubers are saying that they get, which is a full day or one and a half days worth of battery life. I have a theory though that it has something to do with Philippine telecom towers because I have been plagued with poor battery life for years until the Note 9. Nevertheless, I wanted to call your attention to the fact that the high refresh rate of 120 frames and the WQHD resolution takes a big hit on the battery of the phone. This should also serve as a warning to those considering the S21 and S21 Plus which don't have adaptive refresh rate. The S21's haptic feedback feels to be even more satisfying than that of older models. I'm not sure how this stands out from other Android phones, but the S21's feedback is definitely more crisp than my Note 9, which at the time, I thought was already very satisfying to begin with. I made sure I maxed out the haptic feedback on my Note 9 and S21 Ultra. There is no real way to capture the feel of a vibration through the camera, so you'll just have to try it out for yourselves in person. Nevertheless, I think this is an under-the-radar but well-appreciated upgrade which most reviews haven't given spotlight to. The screen is also much more pressure accurate. I wouldn't say that it is more pressure sensitive because that creates the illusion that it takes in unwanted presses, like possible butt dialing. Rather, there is a noticeable faster response time when I press buttons on the S21 Ultra. I use a slow motion video mode to try and get it on film. If you look closely, the Note 9 ripple animation lasts longer the moment my finger lifts off from the phone. This is because of the slighter delay in response. Unfortunately, I didn't have a third camera at the time, so I used the S21 to shoot the Note 9 and the Note 9 to shoot the S21. A more scientific approach would have been to have one camera shoot the two of them. Nevertheless, the more reactive screen and stronger haptic feedback are both things you should keep in mind if you get a chance to drop by a store which has the S21 on display. Finally, the S21 Ultra is getting a lot of praise from its ability to zoom in 100 times with the help of its 10x scope. Here are some of the photos I took while couch sniping. I thought it was a gimmick, but honestly, it's pretty darn cool and clear. It didn't occur to me that the 100 times zoom would not carry over to the video mode. Video mode only goes up to 10 times, which is not me criticizing Samsung, but rather me just pointing out that the 100 times zoom only applies to photography mode and not video. So, in conclusion, I don't think these reasons are enough to justify not buying the S21 Ultra, but these are nevertheless irritants which a consumer should know before they spend that much money on a flagship phone. 
I highly recommend that you get the 25 watt adapter whether it be now or in the next couple of months because two hours to get a full charge is maybe I'm being nitpicky however that might be too long for most people on the go and the reason as to why I got a Note 9 to begin with was because I loved the battery life and I loved the battery life even until the end when I finally switched to the S21 and it's really kind of depressing that I feel like I'm going backwards when it comes to battery life with the new S21 Ultra. In fact, my own Note 9, which I'm actually using to videotape myself right now, I think lasts longer than the S21 Ultra with its regular usage. Stay tuned for our other videos about the S21 Ultra. We still haven't released our full review and we're taking our time with it just so that I make sure that I'm not repeating the same things that other reviewers are saying about it. To be honest, I've already discovered certain things about it which weren't also covered in their reviews. I'm also releasing a review about the S21 Ultra cases which I have and you can actually use that review as a gauge when you're choosing a case for either the S21 Ultra or the similar S21s because the brands use similar material and sizing. And I want to give a special shout out to our top fans, IPX Addict, Deepry Shun, John Ochea, Christian Espinosa, Mark Palania, and Asher Anima. Thanks guys, we really appreciate it.